for her. Same here. Let's go shopping. Hmm. I can't marry Anna. I can't marry Elsa. I can't marry all the princesses for some reason. Oh, there must be some other way of becoming king of Arendelle. Extra, extra, read all about it. Treasure of Arendelle rumored to be worth millions. Treasure? You there. How much for a paper? A, a penny, sir. Penny? Ugh. Tell you what, friend. How about you give me one of those papers and I'll give you a free autograph. Oh, an autograph? That's right. From handsome genius Hans Westergaard. <sighs> extra! Extra! Uh, hold on a moment. Did you say something about the treasure of Arendelle? Aye, sir. It's the queen's mother's necklace. Very pricey. That's why they keep it in the castle safe. Hmm, how pricey are we talking? Let's just say a bad guy from the Southern Isle with no leadership experience whatsoever could cut in front of both the queen and princess in line for the throne with that kind of cash. Hmm, well, that's oddly specific. Extra, extra, read! That's it! This necklace is my way in! Now, I just need to find a way to get into that safe. <laughs> Anna, what do you think we should get Belle for her birthday? I was thinking of getting her some inventor type supplies. You know, Bunsen burners, goggles, the like. Cool! I think I'm going to get her this amazing fairy tale collection that I saw at the bookstore. Perfect. Okay, you go that way to the bookstore and I will go this way to the science supply store. Meet you in the food court in 30 for Froyo? You snow it. Mmm, these donuts smell delicious. Halt! Who goes there? Uh, sup, dude? Uh, I'm from Uber Eats. Uh, I was just trying to deliver these frosted donuts to... Uh, what was her name again? You know, the, the queen? Queen Ilsa? Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Hmm, strange. The queen and the princess just left. Oh, well, uh, I guess I'll just have to take them inside the castle and drop them off for them. Not so fast, mister. What was your name again? Uh, Hondru. Hondru is the name, and uh, delivering delicious donuts is my game. <laughs> well, sir, Hondru, I assume you have nothing to hide and won't mind if I scan your fingerprint? Uh, sure, man. Uh, tubular. Righteous. <laughs> Alert! Alert! Hans of Westergaard, banned from Arendelle Castle for life. Alert! Hans! I can't believe I didn't recognize you. Leave the premises at once, or I will have to remove you myself. I'm going, I'm going. At least I get to enjoy these donuts! <gasps> Welcome, girls! You're the first ones here! We wouldn't miss it for the world! Who else is invited, Belle? Oh, you know, the whole princess crew. You're both early. Oh my gosh, is that Pin the Tail on the Beast? Yep, it's Adam's favorite party game. You know, because he was Beast. <laughs> Ooh, can we play? Of course. Let's get this party started. Aw, cute dogs, cute cats, cute porcupines. <gasps> Hans, 
You scared me. I scared you? Who's head villain around here anyway? I am, you sideburned buffoon. How did you get in here? I've still got a key from when I was house-sitting, remember? Remind me to get my lock changed. Well, what do you want? Power, money, fame, and the treasure of Arendelle, of course. The what? The treasure of Arendelle. It's worth millions, and it's my path to the throne. The only problem is, I can't seem to get in and steal it. Oh yeah, Queen Ice Cube has really beefed up her security system lately. Do you have any ideas on how I could sneak in and get it? Maybe. But why would I give you all my brilliance for free? Tell you what, you give me your best sneaky idea, and I'll give you my... Autograph? Please. What I want is more substantial. Half the money of what the treasure is worth. Half? Yes, but I'll do most of the work. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're spinning. Okay, here we go. Pin the tail on the beast. Oh, which way do I go? We can't tell you that. <laughs> oh, the castle's calling. Hello? Queen Elsa, we have an emergency. I just received words that the president is coming to Arendelle at via his first stop. You must return home at once to welcome him. Wow. Oh my gosh. A presidential visit? A, a what? Anna, no cheating. The president is coming to visit Arendelle. We've got to get home so we can welcome him. The president? Wow. What a surprise. I know, it sounds a little strange. You would think a president would let us know ahead of time if he was coming to visit. That does seem a little odd. Do you guys want me to come with you in case you need backup? Oh, Belle, you can't leave. This is your birthday party. Uh, it's still like an hour till everyone gets here. We'll be back in no time. Lumiere, if anyone comes, let him know. I'll be right back. Hello, it is I, the president. You're not Donald! Lincoln! Abraham Lincoln, and this is my vice president. Hannibal Hamlin. At least until 1865, when Abe here replaced me with Hanj, I mean, Andrew Johnson. What a noob. Abe Lincoln, I think I've heard of you, but you're not president anymore. Well, uh... Uh, you know, they always still call you president even after you've left the White House. I'm not so sure. Mind if I scan your fingerprint, sir? How dare you question me! They call me Honest Abe! Google it. Let's see here. Ooh, cute porcupines. <clears throat> You're keeping the president waiting. Honest Abe, oh yes, this is you. I am so, so sorry for the confusion. Please, uh, go ahead, right this way. I've never met a president before. Well, maybe not, but you've met me. I'm a queen, you know. Oh, yeah. Same thing. I'd vote for you any day, Elsa. Oh, thanks, Belle. All right, let's hurry and see if he's really there. Where is that safe anyway? How should I know? I got us in. The rest is on you, Hansi Poo. Aha! Oh, no, we need the combination. What could it be? Anna's birthday? Hmm. The day their little movie Frozen came out? Hmm, I'll try both. Let's see. Anna's birthday is June 21st. She's a Gemini. So curious. Hans! Whereas I'm a Scorpio, our compatibility is way off. Focus, Hans! Come on! Ugh, this fake beard is itchy! All right, all right. Nope, not it. Ah! Try the Frozen DVD release date. Success! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> In the flesh. Maleficent? Wait, what is going on? Elsa, look! They were trying to steal our mother's necklace! <sighs> oh, Queen Elsa, I just realized Abraham Lincoln died like a hundred years ago. I, I have no 
another one in a while. <sighs> Maleficent, this has got to be your worst disguise ever. I mean, at least the hat does hide the horns. Yeah, 10 points for effort, but this was pretty silly. You told me your plan was going to be brilliant. Well, you tell people you're a handsome genius. So I guess we both tell a little fib here and there. Now listen here, you. Um, excuse me, guard? Can you take these two downtown? Down town? You mean, that's right, jail. Toodles! <laughs> <laughs> it's on. Hey friends, it's me, Elsa, your frozen sister from another mister. You know, me, the Snow Queen. I'm coming to you live from Arendelle Castle. Actually, it's my room. Um, so, this is my first vlog. Thanks so much for tuning in. I have got to tell you all about my birthday party. It was crazy. It started out just like any other day until I realized it was my birthday. <sighs> Happy birthday, Seth! And look, I made your favorite breakfast in bed with the waffles. I'm so excited. This has been a great start to my birthday. Oh, this is gonna be such a fun day. Our friends should be over in just a few hours. I invited all of them to your birthday party. Ah, I can't wait. Okay, I'll finish getting ready and then I'm gonna eat my yummy waffles. Awesome, I'm gonna go finish getting everything ready. The day was going great. Anna had sent invitations to all of my friends like Belle. Elsa's birthday party? Uh, of course I'll be there. Moana? No one knows how far I'll go for Elsa's birthday. It's gonna be so fun. And Cinderella. Elsa's birthday? Uh, I have the best present for her. Oh, I'm so excited. But there was someone else who got an invitation or stolen invitation, I should say. All right, let's see what Aurora got in the mail today. Thanks again for stealing these for me, Diablo. Anything for you, boss. Bills, bills, hmm, Starbucks promotion. Coupons, credit card offer. Wait a minute, what is this? You're invited to Elsa's birthday? She's having a birthday party and didn't invite me? Ooh, that's wicked cold. My birthday was last week. No one threw me a birthday party. No one got me a gift. Ugh. Elsa would never know how that feels. She has so many friends and gets whatever she wants. Wait a second. I believe I just saw a new spell in Spellbook Quarterly for a new switch up spell. Let's see here. Ha! Perfect, there it is. Finally, I'm going to get the birthday I always deserved. Let's see, Abracabu and diddly do. I need an evil necklace for me and you. Perfect, and I will add a cloak of deception spell just so those princesses won't catch on to my little trick. Diablo, take this to Elsa as quick as you can. Say it's a gift from an admirer. Belle, Cinderella, Moana, how are you guys? Hey, Anna, where's the birthday girl? She's still upstairs getting ready. I will go get her. You guys can put your gifts right over there. Thanks. I'm so excited. I think she's gonna love my gift. Same here. I can't wait to give her my present. Wait a second. I invited Aurora. I don't know. I don't see her anywhere. Well, you know her. Probably taking a nap. Classic Aurora. Oh, I'll go get it. So there I was, excited for the day, when all of a sudden, Anna came in to tell me that I had received a birthday present in the mail. Elsa, this bird just dropped out this package for you and said it was from a secret admirer. Pretty crazy. Also, pretty crazy that the bird was talking to me. Anyway, here you go. Wow, that's so crazy. I wonder who it's from. Probably Olaf or something. He's so sweet. Oh my gosh, it's a necklace. Woo. Anna, will you help me put this on, please? 
Sure, Elsa. Ooh, it's so pretty. So, how am I looking? You look great. Um, actually, you look uh, different. <laughs> Don't be rude, sister. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you're acting weird. It's my birthday. It's a day of change. Hmm. Well, okay. Everybody's here, so why don't we get this party started? Let's go. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to get the birthday party I've always deserved. Except, I don't know if this cloak of deception spell is working as well as it should. Um, Elsa, are you coming? Yes, you little brat. <laughs> I mean, I am just so excited, sweet sister, to celebrate my birthday. You're super strange. Are you okay? Oh, it's just a little birthday butterflies, you know. Let's go. <gasps> oh my gosh, where am I? Who am I? Do I have horns? <sighs> That's right, you guys. I had been turned into Maleficent, the baddest of the bad, rotten to the core villain. Not the greatest part of my birthday. Oh no, I've got to tell the girls. I've got to fix this. All right, you puny excuses for princesses. Line up and give me your gifts. <laughs> Good one, Elsa. You sound just like a villain. <laughs> Yeah, is that your Maleficent impression? You sound just like her. Ah, oh, <laughs> yes. That was my impression of that beautiful dark fairy. Um, oh, Cinderella, you look like you have a nice gift there. Yeah, here you go, Elsa. Happy birthday. Glass slippers? What am I supposed to do with this? There's no arch support, you can see right through it. Whoa, Elsa, why are you being so mean? Are you joking? No, Anna, this is the new me. Get used to it. I guess birthdays can really change people. Moana, you seem like you have a lot to say. Time to give me your present now. Um, here you go. It's my favorite island treat. A pineapple? What am I supposed to do with that? What, cut it up for a snack myself? That's what my servants are for. I'll get it. That's probably Aurora. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Maleficent, what are you doing here? You are definitely not invited to Elsa's birthday. Wait, Anna, it's me, Elsa. Good one, Maleficent, but I can tell you right now, Elsa is inside opening her presents and she does not have horns, okay, bye. But, but. <sighs> you guys, that was so weird. Maleficent was trying to come to Elsa's birthday. What, Elsa? I thought I locked her way in that tower. I mean, <laughs> I'm Elsa and she's trying to come to my birthday party? Whatever you do, do not let her in. Wait, what are you guys doing? Elsa says she wanted her hair brushed. And book held and face fanned. And I finished cleaning your room, Elsa. Elsa, you're having them do chores? Well, it is my birthday, isn't it? And this is what people do on their birthdays. Um, no, usually they eat cake and do face painting and play fun games and have lots of fun. Well, I think this is fun. Now keep brushing. I can't believe my own sister didn't recognize me. She must be under a spell or something. Needless to say, this birthday party was no fun for anyone. I had to think of something. And then it came to me. I needed a disguise. <gasps> I've got it! If that's Maleficent again, tell her she better leave or I'll turn her into a popsicle. I'll go see. Hello, I'm here for the birthday party. For Elsa?
Elsa's birthday? That's the one! Wait, but I didn't order a clown. Nope, Elsa called me herself. She said her sister loves clowns and it would be as great of a present for her as it would be for her. Yo! Wait a second. that no spell is a match for the true love between two sisters. Well, that's not the only spell. She also magically made us swap places. That's why I look like Maleficent. And I dressed up like a clown so I could try and sneak in and reverse the spell. <gasps> that's a great idea. Yes, let's get you in there and then we can figure out how to swap this thing. Okay. <sighs> Happy birthday, Elsa. I guess this isn't a surprise since you ordered a clown, but here's your birthday clown. Clown? I didn't order a clown. Yes, you did because you ordered it for your sister because even though it's your birthday, you love your sister so much and you know that she loves clowns so much, so you ordered a clown for your sister. Wow, that clown's really emotional. My sister? Pigtails here? Ah, I don't care about her. Oh, really? Because that doesn't sound like something Elsa would say. I am the all-powerful Ice Queen, and you should all bow to me. Okay, I really can't do this anymore. I'm not a clown, I'm Elsa. Maleficent? No, she's not Maleficent, she's Elsa. I'm Elsa, I know it's getting really confusing, but I swear I'm Elsa. No, she's Elsa, although, she has been kind of a brat today. That Maleficent cast a spell on me so that we would switch places. But but I'm her and she's me. Look, I'll prove it to you guys. I will ask Elsa a question that only she would know the answer to. Okay, what is my favorite food? Sandwiches! Oh, I guess everybody already knows that one. You guys have to know it's me. I'm your friend. I mean, Belle, I know that there's nothing that you love more than the smell of a new book. And and Cinderella, I know that you're always losing your shoe and it's hilarious and we all laugh about it. And uh, Moana, you're one of the bravest people I know. It's me, you guys. It is you, Elsa. I feel so bad I didn't recognize you before. That's okay, you were under a deception spell. Your true love for your friends must have broken the spell. I know, but I don't know how to swap us back. You'll never break that spell. Get used to the horns, sweetheart. Wait a second. This all started when you got that necklace, right? The one from Olaf. You assumed it was from Olaf, but I don't think it was from an admirer at all. In fact, I think it was from Maleficent. What? No, I don't give gifts. You do when it's really a gift for you. Take off your necklace, Elsa. It's me again! But how do we get rid of that Elsa? She needs to take the necklace off too! Never! Really? Because it's not a good color on you. You're more of a winter. You brat. I know what you're doing and I am not ever taking this off. I think we need a little magical help. Luckily, I brought Maui's fish hook. Seems like we always run into trouble with these villains whenever we're together. Chee-hoo! No! No! Do I still get to keep the presents? No way, but I do have another birthday activity for you. So, that was my birthday party. Crazy, right? At least I had all my best friends by my side. You know, it makes her a good story, I think, though. And as far as Maleficent, well, I knew just the thing to teach her a lesson. Balloon animals? Uh, this one is um, a ball. This one is a circle. Ta-da! Happy, happy birthday to possibly my favorite human of all time. Oh, thanks, Maui. Oh, wait, that's not all. Look up. <gasps> wow, this is amazing, Maui. 
Even better than last year's clouds formations. You're welcome. Hey, maybe next year one of my tattoos will even spell out happy birthday. <laughs> Maui, you're so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have planned for your big day of turning another year older? <laughs> How old are you turning, by the way? How old are you, Maui? Uh, I don't know. I, I lost track after my 415th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> wow, looks like you've been stocking up on your vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Some of my friends are coming over for a birthday, Laura. Do you want to join us? Me? A demigod? Hang out with a bunch of princesses? I don't think so. Besides, I have better things to do. Oh yeah? Like what? Nap. Maui! What? It's a lot of hard work, you know, being a demigod and saving the world. And stealing the heart of Tefiti. Hey, that's in the past. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> anyway, do you need anything before I head out? Um, sure. Uh, would you mind heading up to the bakery and picking up my birthday cake? You bet. <laughs> hey, Moana. Yeah? You're welcome. Maui! <laughs> to go visit Moana! Oh, me too! I've never been to Mount Nui before! <laughs> well, you are going to love it! It's like paradise! Ah! I can't wait! It's still just so weird that my invitation got lost in the mail. Well, at least Moana texted you when she didn't get your RSVP. It's true. You're right. Well, whatever about the invite, I'm just so glad we all get to go and have fun. Me too. Wait a minute. I thought Jasmine was joining us. Where is she? Flight 721 to Motunui, now boarding at gate 39. That's us! Okay, so I've got Pin the Tail on the Donkey, musical chairs, my piñata, food, and let's see, I think that's everything. <laughs> this is gonna be the best birthday party ever! So this is the magical island of Motunui. Hmm. That was so nice of Moana to invite me to her birthday party. Okay, so she didn't invite me. So what if I borrowed Belle's invitation? Finders keepers. What do you know? You're just a little parrot. Ouch, little flamingo, leave me alone. Hmm, what do we have here? Hmm, a magical bent sword. Excuse me, you wacky toucan. Fine, a magical fish hook. Hmm. Gaston could have some real fun with this. Jasmine! What are you doing here? And with a rug. Is that your carry-on? Is that what you're giving uh, Moana for her birthday? <laughs> no, silly. This is Agrabah Airlines, where our motto is Carpet Diem. Ooh, I love that. So catchy. Oh, I get it. It's like one of your magical flying carpets. Yeah, once we take off, I'll have us to Motunui in no time. Now that's what I call service. <laughs> Motunui Bakery. Finally, I was thinking Moan was sending me halfway across the globe for this cake. Happy, Happy birthday to me! Thank you guys so much for coming all the way to Motunui. Of course, we couldn't miss your birthday celebration! 